All right, guys, welcome back to a special uh, Call of Duty segment video because uh, there's been a lot of big controversy on the Call of Duty scene. Uh, two big content creators, one I used to watch a long time ago, and uh, Eight Thoughts. I've been keeping up with him recently because uh, I watch 402 Thunder videos and he's a funny guy and uh, I like his persona. And uh, Eight Thoughts was just a channel he used to take the piss out of a lot of uh scummy content creators but i don't think uh what he did here against drifter was uh too nice it was, it was kind of disgusting it's a very horrible thing to do so i'm gonna go over the context of actually what's happening now uh just to let you guys know drifter was a very old call of duty youtuber from back in the days he used to make breakdown videos on all of the weapons in the game and he used to do all the stats and everything and he'd been kind of replaced now especially in warzone by uh jay god and he uh that guy just basically does all your breakdown videos and everything so yeah that's a little context drifter i met him a long time ago actually here's a picture of me and him i met him at the uh uh what was this it, it was the uh, gfinity event yeah uh, back in uh, 2016 so <laughs> this is a long time ago so there's a picture of me and him ages ago that I met this guy and that was back when uh, his channel was popping it was blowing up um, I think this was uh, straight after Advanced Warfare I think it was I think that was the Call of Duty uh, either Advanced Warfare or one of those Call of Duties but yeah I met him a long time ago and uh, obviously he, he stuck to his channel it was all about call of duty and stuff and uh, breakdown and uh, all the guns and everything he used to break down all the stats i had no problems with him so uh yeah he used to make uh, call of duty videos all the time and then thunder thunder started promoting eight Forts' channel and then um i came across eight Forts' channel he's just a funny guy here's a uh, eight Forts. Uh, that's his face right there <laughs> he's kind of a uh, older man he's probably in his 40s and everything but he's just like kind of this alpha male sort of gamer. That, that's his persona and everything. So, yeah, there's eight thoughts for you. And, uh, yeah, just he posting videos. He's having fun. He's taking a piss out of people. Uh, you know, he's... Uh, I, I don't like Korean Savage. Never have, never will. Uh, just a scummy sort of person. A very... Um, it just kind of sh goes to show the sort of people that they are these days. The kids, how they kind of abuse... What they need to do to kind of get views and everything you know cheapskate gameplays uh dropping nukes on people that honestly have disabilities just the most retarded most disgusting stuff and that's why i liked eight thoughts because his channel was all about exposing these scumbag disgusting tactics but little did i know what eight thoughts was doing himself i didn't know i didn't know i had no idea what he was doing all i knew is i saw the content and he was exposing drifter and drifter is just kind of uh, he, he wasn't making as many Call of Duty videos uh, breaking down all of the changes and everything. Uh, I think he was sticking to streaming and kind of showing this other si uh, side of his life. Now, obviously, whatever Drifter does in his life, whatever he does for himself, between him and his wife, that's his personal choices, right? People can do whatever they want, even if it's the most retarded stuff. They have a right to do it. They can do it. Uh, you can criticize, that, uh, criticize them for it. But one thing you cannot do, and I'm completely against this, because um, it started uh, happening to me. But I'm just a small content creator, only 2,000 something subs I had. And uh, I made a Discord, and it was uh, available to all of my Dokkan Battle uh, sort of community. And within the Discord itself, we started having uh, one person spamming hundreds of accounts. Uh, this guy was sending nude pictures of his dad, of himself, to all of my people. I was thinking, this is the most disgusting thing you can do. So there's a lot of weirdos on the internet these days. There's a lot of people out there that will literally live their entire life just to become disgusting, evil individuals. Uh, I had someone sending nude pictures of himself and his father, and he's probably having uh, intercourse with his dad. And he was doing this on my Discord. And I was like, why do you keep sending naked pictures of yourself and your dad? Like, nobody needs to see this. Uh, he's sending pictures of himself wearing a thong and everything to some of my people in my Discord. So I completely shut down my Discord. I was completely against it. The most disgusting stuff I've ever seen. And then uh, 8 Thoughts, he had his own Discord. But the thing is, little did 8 Thoughts know, his admin, this guy called Blue, 
Oh my god, what a piece of work. This guy had a uh, dark web. This guy had special internet services where you could track down your IP address, find out your details, information, and they knew everything about Drifter, my gosh. Drifter was just a part of a full-on scheme to completely just like be violated in every sense possible. So Drifter's made his own video explaining all of his uh, situation and what he had to go through. And I've got to say, I feel really bad for the guys. Uh, I'd, his personal life choices, whatever he does. Whatever his wife does, that's whatever she does. You know, if she wants to sell her body or if she wants to sell pictures of herself, that's her own personal choice. You know, God's going to deal with them whenever their time comes. But the fact that Eight Foots let a little leech, a little scumbag out there to basically harass people, he, he didn't just harass. Like, he's sending... Uh, Obviously, he's uh, leaking all the information everywhere. He's sending hundreds of different sorts of things to the Drifter's house. He knows his address and everything. So he's sending food. He's sending uh, charities. He's sending people to go pick up his stuff. He's telling people that, oh, I'm giving away PlayStations. I'm giving away my stuff. I'm giving away loads of things. And he, uh, this blue guy, and 8 Forts is condoning it. And 8 Forts is saying, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, send the person to his house. Send the person to his address. Or stream it. This guy streams it. This guy streams what he's going to do. So he's sending food. He's sending uh, charities. He's sending uh, all this stuff. Right? He's making hundreds of orders. All in Drifter's address. And then on top of that, he goes himself there. This uh, this person from Drifter's Discord. The person at Drifter is... Uh, not Drifter, sorry. This person from 8 Thoughts' Discord, right? Has basically gone there. And uh, 8 Thoughts is saying, yeah, go there. 8, to 8 Forts is saying, yeah, go get arrested. And there's video, there's video footage. I saw the footage and it was just the most disturbing stuff. The guy's going up there with an unregistered firearm, with a gun. He's going there with a gun, with a Glock. And now Drifter's obviously, he's been dealing this for uh, a year a, a year or two. And obviously he couldn't reveal the information because it was an ongoing case. So there's an ongoing case and everything. And obviously... You know, this is some really messed up stuff. And it came to the point where a couple months ago, I think Driftor just kind of made some sort of peace with Eight Foots, you know, just to make him chill out and relax, you know, uh, just to kind of calm down the situation. But we didn't know what the situation was. So now we know what the situation is. And uh, I've got to say, Eight Foots, he promotes himself to be an alpha male sort of gamer. That's cool and all, but my guy, your actions. Your actions are very disgusting, very disturbing. You shouldn't be doing this sort of stuff. Like, uh, I know you can hate people. Uh, you want a, you want a, you, like, you, everyone gets these thoughts like, I hate this person or I'm completely against this person. I completely hate their lifestyle. That's fine. You can hate it. You can reject it. You can be against it. That's completely fine. But then sending someone to someone else's address and actually causing physical violence on them you, you've gone past the line man. Right? like you, you you've, you've crossed the boundary you've crossed the border you you shouldn't be doing this like and then for all the people that were defending eight forts and still defending him now you gotta like evaluate yourself you gotta think if this was happening to you if your house was getting doxxed if your house was getting swap teamed if your house was constantly like targeted if uh, there was people hit men there's a video from uh from eight thoughts channel where he sent a hit man he was saying that there was going to be a hit man sent to drifter's address and then drifter confirms a, a hit man a person came knocking on the door to find out if someone lived at the address whoa like a hit man came to his address and then uh, Drifter's going to sleep every day with the M4, with the AR-15. AR-15 is basically like an M4, a single fire one. And uh, he's going to sleep with the AR-15. He's got a shotgun that he has to answer the door. He answered the door with his shotgun with, behind his back. And then boom, uh, the, the person is there knocking on the door. I'm just checking. And then he's like, yo, I've got a shot you here, innit? And, uh, that's Drifter, innit? You don't expect this. You don't expect... You don't <laughs> You don't expect drift, or you don't you don't expect this guy here to uh, point a shotgun at your face, now, do you? <laughs> but he did. He pointed a shotgun at this guy's face because that's his home. That's his address. 
You can't be coming to next people's address. Like if if that was me and this guy saying that I'm here to find out, I'll be like, boom, blow his head off on the spot. Like what are you doing at my address? Are you mad? Straight. Like that's crazy. And all I've got to say is 840, he's saying that he's got cancer, he's saying that uh, YouTube's his only source of income, he's saying all sorts of stuff. But you know, before saying all of that, before saying all of that, what you did to this drifter guy for the past two years, what you did to him, no matter what he is, no matter if you think he's uh, a simp, if you think he's a uh, scrawny, if he, if you got a problem with his sexuality, or if the, if, the, uh, if Drifter wants to be transgender or whatever the heck he wants to do, if his wife's are doing all sorts of nasty things, that's his life. That's his choice. As disgusting and messed up as that might be, that's his life. That's his choice. You cannot go ahead and send people to blow his head off. You can't do that. You can't send people to abuse his, his life. That's just like, if anything, that's going to let the person... That's, that's just the most disturbing thing you can do. Oh my god, it's so bad. You can't do that. So, eight thoughts like, bro, if you watch this video, or if you come across this video, all I gotta say is you, you got to apologize to this drifter guy. You got to set your record straight, right? Because I watched 402 Funders video just earlier, and 402 Funder even said like, nah, that's really messed up what you did. You've got to come to terms and take accountability for what you've done. Uh, and I know in this case, because there was lots of lawyers and law enforcement and teams involved, and even Drifter was trying to get a hold of people from YouTube to try and stop, stop this 8 Forks guy from doing this abuse. And he sent these videos and the image and the photographs and the records and the, there's phone calls where he was getting phone called by 8 Forks non-stop. Uh, Drifter was just getting all sorts of abuse. Right. He sent all of this information to YouTube and Twitter, and YouTube and Twitter didn't do anything to Eight Thoughts to block him from uploading this stuff. Because we saw, we saw that we saw what Eight Thoughts was giggling and laughing. And little did we know that this stuff that he's giggling and laughing about, he's actually doing. Listen, you you can be like you can be on edge, yeah, and you can be sort of. You know, saying things without doing them, but then Eight Thoughts was actually saying things, laughing about it, and then actually the week after he was following through with his threats. That's very dangerous. That's very dangerous. So all I've got to say is this is very disturbing. It was very sad what's happened to Drifter. Like, um, um, I think something like this happened to one of the older Call of Duty uh, YouTubers. I think it was White Boy, where his house got um. His mum's ashes got robbed, his house got robbed and everything. I saw that, that was kind of sad. And then uh, obviously we've got some very Down Syndrome, very disturbed individuals on Discord They're, that they don't care about their life. They will go there and they will blow someone's head off. They will, like, they, there was a video that 402 Thunder made about this person that was on Discord and he was just just there as a troll as a professional troll and he had s sent police saying that he was going to kill himself to this person's address and the police literally thought this innocent bystander this random person that no one knew was um threatening to kill himself and his family and the police shot and killed the person and that that could have happened to drifter like he could have been shot and killed because this person on discord is calling the police pretending to be drifter and saying that oh i'm gonna kill this person kill that person kill this person that's wrong that is wrong eight thoughts using the wrong that's disgusting that's disturbing you shouldn't have done that that's very bad like that is so disturbing like god's gonna have punishment for you obviously god's gonna have punishment for whatever drifter does and the sort of transgression that he's gone through but eight thoughts you threaten someone's life that's the worst thing you can ever do. And then you not only threaten someone's life, but you sent someone to cause this person harm. That is the worst you can ever do. That's the worst of the worst. So that's the entire uh, situation exposed. If you guys don't know about Drifter or 8 Thoughts, well, probably now you know about them. Um, and yeah, 8 Thoughts' channel, I think it's been removed by YouTube. He did make a second backup one, but the, I, I'm no longer 
I was all for uh, Eight Thoughts is fun in games and his laughter and his jokes, but it didn't, it's not fun in games and laughter and jokes when you literally have threatened someone's life. That's a step too far. Like you can only imagine if someone turned up at your house saying that we're trying to find out who lives here, this, this, that. That's horrible. Like, I can't condone that. But yeah, that that that's the end of this story. Uh, obviously, if you enjoyed this video, please do smash a like button for uh, for a supporting the video. Make sure you subscribe for plenty more Call of Duty, Dokkan, and all sorts of other videos. Um, if you found the situation between Drifter and Eight Thoughts disturbing, and please let me know in the comment section whose side that you're on, Drifter or Eight Thoughts. Uh, I know uh, Eight Thoughts is probably going through his own personal issues, but you should never take it out on another person. You should never send uh, other people uh, to other people's addresses. You should never threaten someone's life. It, it should never be even like a thought in your head. So Eight Thoughts, I don't think you had eight thoughts about what you did to Drifter but you should you should and it's 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 not good it's not good anyways guys make sure you catch me on the next video thank you very much for tuning in today I'll see you guys next time peace out